One more job shouldn't have mattered. I'd killed nobles before. You could float a whaling ship on the highborn blood I've spilled. Another noble steps in to replace the last one. All equally corrupt. Why should an empress be different? But she was. I watched her bodyguard's face as they took him away. Dead eyes. I knew I'd pay for this one. Maybe I deserve to. A storm was coming that would shake apart everything I'd built. Dowd, my old friend. It's been a long while, but you've got my interest again. How the years pass and the bodies fall. Did you know that there are only eight like you in the world, bearing my mark? I'm here because you're right. The Empress was different. This time, you can't just fade away into the shadows. There will be consequences. Your story is close to ending, and even you can't escape it. But what ending will you make for yourself? I'm here to give you one last gift, Dowd. It's a mystery. One that starts with a name. Delilah. For six months, the city writhed and changed. For six months, I tried to forget what I'd done to the Empress and her little girl. But there was no forgetting. I needed to find my next move. But all I had was that name, Delilah. Who was she? A threat? Or an ally? Word came from my second in command, Billy Lurk. In a house built on secrets, Lurk was especially good at uncovering them. There was a ship called the Delilah that hunted whales for Bundry Rothwild, a former deckhand who'd made good. Now he owned a slaughterhouse and he ran his workers like a prison gang. A ship named Delilah. It could be a coincidence, but it's not. In Dunwall, Things are always tangled up like a bag of snakes. So I started without you. Turns out we're here on the perfect day. There's a strike at the plant, and it's no wonder. Rothwild runs this place like a prison. The stupid workers can't even get in without a time card. 
When the strike started, the butchers confiscated all the cards they could find. They've given the city watch free reign to use force. If you ever wondered why I wanted out of the slums, here's your answer. There'll be other ways in, I'm sure of it. You don't mind if I tag along, right? Just to keep an old man safe. One last thing. I found something for you. I know you collect these. I'll be on the rooftops till you need me. off the property or we'll lock you up too. You have to give me back my time card. I can't get back in. You had no right to take it. Ooh! Try and get past me and I'll see you swinging from a meat hook. Go home, mister. Orders are to confiscate those cards. No exceptions. I hope you die weeping. All of you. I hope the plague gets you. No use asking me anything. They've got my time card. I can't even get in to pick up my things. Anyone who knows anything's locked up down by the docks. I should have been with them. How am I gonna get into work without my time card? I used to have friends among the butchers. What happened to this place? I heard Rothwild has a special negotiation chair for anyone who refuses to sign. Bastard. If I had any guts, I'd get Abigail out myself. She's worth ten of the rest of us. Rothwild's losing money every moment. He'll crack.
There's a man out on the river watching the place. If I weren't so young and pure of heart, I'd suggest he's up to no good. Vital to state interests has been declared treasonous by the Lord Regent. stories about a woman in the slums who did work like this. Granny Rags. They said she was a hundred years old. This is a reminder that collective bargaining in any industry deemed vital to the state is a capital offense. These include metallurgy, whale collection and refinement, security services, and selected legal and clerical specializations. Consult the city barrister for clarification and enforcement. You're... You're... Dowd. Dowd. Shit, I hope you ain't here for me. I'm just a little fish in a big pond. I want to know about a ship. The Delilah. Yeah, I heard of it. Listen, maybe we can help each other out. I work for a very rich man who's keen on seeing Rothwild's business go belly up. This whole business with the strike, our doing. We got a mole on the inside, a lady pretending to run the labor crews, a real talent. She could lie straight to the high overseer's face and get away with it. We were supposed to meet up last night. I've been spying on the place all day, waiting to hear word. I mean, I haven't seen or heard a peep. I was about to shove off. You're here to make a little mayhem anyway. Maybe you could find her. If she's still alive, she'd be able to get you everything you need to know about that ship. No question. And a substantial reward besides. The name's Abigail Ames. I tried sneaking in by the sewers, the runoff tunnels under the slaughterhouse. Almost had my nuts fried off. Lord Ramsey will have my head if this doesn't work. I almost feel bad for the workers. Of course, if things work out, the best ones will have a place at Ramsey's slaughterhouse, no question. Abigail will get you what you need. You'll see. Assuming Rothwild hasn't gutted her. You've had your fun, Butcher. When does the oil start to flow again? It's all fixed, Chief. We got their time cards rounded up, and now we got their mouthy leader. So you know the Regent doesn't give a shit who wins your little labor dispute. The Regent cares about the whale oil coming out on schedule. He'll get what he needs. Just keep the strikers in line. Time cards on site. Nobody gets in or out without those things.
time to send a message. are bad. Could the city get any worse? Indeed. I believe so. Two-thirds pay in with good men and women dead. We aren't signing anything without talking to Abigail. What's wrong with you people? There's folks in Dunwall begging to do your job for half your pay. It's twisted. We're the first ones to get them. How do they work? <coughs> sure. Let's lay a few out. Striker's got to hit one sooner or later. The slaughterhouse butchers are locking workers in the pump control station by the docks. If you could get in there, I bet the workers would tell you just about anything you wanted to know.
They won't let you in without a time card. But if you get us out of here, you can take mine. I'm not coming back. Open the gate, please. We still need to get past that wall of light contraption they put up. If you can shut it off, we can slip past the city watch when the time is right. Rescued by the assassin. He'll never believe it. I'm gonna teach my son the sword now. It's the only way. When you see Rothwild, don't hesitate. He did all this. Thank you, sir. Is the wall of light down? You're free to go. Make your way out of this place. Here's the card, sir. I hope you burn this place to the ground. If you see a woman named Abigail Ames, she'll know what to do. She's a smart cookie. Best luck, sir. You're one of the good ones. We used to use the runoff tunnels to sneak in and out. But it's all plague rats now. Disgusting. Half the I hope Rothwell dead. gets what's coming to him. Make it three he used months. to be poor, scrapping on the street, so he should know better. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Never doubt it. Why did I have to lose that time card today? There's gotta be somebody out there. This is a public warning. Cool. Rothwild's got a stubborn reputation. I doubt asking nicely is going to work. We'll have to find a more persuasive means of getting what you want out of him. He's probably close to his office. We should start there. Hey, have you been in the chair already? Yes, but I signed right away. Mr. Rothwild didn't even have to turn it on. I don't believe you. No, it's true. Is he calling you a liar? That's what it sounds like. I'm gonna teach you to respect me. That went a little deep. It was only supposed to scare him. Oops. Well, he did look scared. Just at the end there. <laughs> Break's over, looks like. When's this day gonna end? I spotted a makeshift interrogation room in the meat locker. It might be useful to you, considering our mission here.
Hmm. Marked for shipment to the most distant point of the Empire. And fitted for live cargo, too. Survivable. If they had a fast ship. I wonder who this was meant for. You box somebody up in that thing and they won't be back in town for months. We still on for a game of Nancy Maybe tonight. We need to be organizing, huh? Hey, that's not funny. You say that again, even as a joke, and you're whale meat. Yeah, sure. I'm just saying. Stop listening in on that Abigail Lane's tricky talk. She'll corrupt you. No, no. My head's clear. I know which side my bread's buttered on. I'll be glad when we get the order to get rid of her. It's only a matter of time. <clears throat> Shift interrogation chair. Rothwild must be using it to coerce employees. in front, but not so tough in back.
system in there looks like it will put down that whale in an instant. I almost think you should. I know they're just beasts, but still.
the trash out in the killing floor. That's Sokolov stuff. You didn't touch it, did you? The inventor guy? What's he doing here? Natural philosopher. Yeah, he ain't here now. Comes down some nights to study the whales. Where the oil comes from. Why does he have to go taking everything apart? The whales are the mystery of our time. Are you joking? We've got the art pylons now. We've got walls of light. We'll have the plague cured in no time. I miss the old days. That cursed bastard Corvo changed everything. Oh, wish that singing would stop. Thought I heard words in it. I must be. How much does he know by now? Ramsey? No, this is about the workers. This is about fair pay and safe conditions. Don't bother. You're not the first of his moles I've caught. What happened, Abigail? I trusted you. Extra elixir rations, bags of coin as bonuses. But you're about to see that my generosity is counterbalanced by a very inhumane side. Mr. Rothwild. Bundry. Don't call me that. That privilege is lost to you. You don't know, Ramsey. When he comes for me, he'll kill you. He'll gut you like the street filth you are, and feed you to the rats. Ah, uh, now it comes out. No one is coming. I've broken your strike, and my butchers are the finest fighters in Dunwall. Miss Ames. You're about to find out a few things I learned when I was a gaffer. I can do things that don't even hurt at first. This conversation is going to last a long, long time. Is anyone there? I know you. Dowd. You're the knife of Dunwall.
whiskey and cigars. <laughs> you ever think about anything else? If I say yes, you... I'll make sure you get to enjoy this. to know about a ship named Delilah. What's behind the name? Joke on your own spit. <laughs> Who is Delilah? Ha! Think I'll give up a friend at the first tickle? That's the kind of thing I pay your sister for down at the Golden Cat. We'll feed you through your own factory. See if we can get oil out of your blubber. You know your work, I'll give you that. We can talk this out, like businessmen. Why did you name it Delilah? What do you care? And it wasn't me. The previous owner named it after some sweetheart as a painting. Piss off! Yeah! Who was the previous owner? Barrister Timps, all right? Dunwall Tower, who got kicked out, became a painter. With funny airs, like proud. She caught his eye, but it was worse than that. He couldn't think of anything else, just her. She whirled into his mind somehow. He built that ship for her, and a lot more. Gave her half his fortune. Then he got scared. He came to me afraid. Man, like that, afraid. I wanted to dump the ship, and I needed a business partner, so we made a deal. Meant to change the name. Wish I'd done it. I hope that was satisfying. Here's the room key. When you're ready to go. Sir, earlier I spotted crates bound for the most remote corner of the Empire. Might be worth stuffing him in one, just to tie things off. He doesn't seem the type to forgive, of course. Why go through all the trouble, when a blade to the neck would accomplish the same thing? Assassin. 
What about the shrines? Tell me about the blood rituals you performed there. Where did you learn such a profane practice? I thought you were checking out. <laughs> We'll find him. Thank you. Let's go. I'm worried they sent for the hounds. Still trying to figure out why you let the Empress's bodyguard go. And now Rothwild's snug in a box. What's got into you? Barrister Timsh lives up in the legal district. I know it pretty well. From what I hear, the Timsh family is practically at war with itself. Talk to his niece Tali if you can. I should probably tag along when you go. Crazy rich people are buying up a lot of that Sokolov security technology these days. Keeps the weepers and looters out. I might be useful. Let's go.